And there's a, an official in number 10 is reported as saying in the papers today that the medics are telling the Prime Minister, quote, that younger and lower risk people shouldn't leave home until they have been vaccinated. Do you agree? Mm, OK, so, I mean, it, <laughs> the problem here is that the vaccines come a little late. We have our massive second wave, which is much worse than anybody thought it was going to be, I think. Uh, and I just spent the, the the whole week of the New Year's weekend working on the the wards on a on a high dependency unit full of COVID patients at my hospital UCH, and it is pretty horrendous in the hospitals at the moment. So the we do need to stop the spread of the virus because the hospital that I work in UCH has, has an ITU of forty five beds normally. Uh, and now has an ITU of about 100 beds plus three separate independent, uh, separate high dependency units. So it, it, that is a horrendously large increase in the number of people who are acutely sick. So the need to stop the spread of the virus is really acute. And I'm not quite sure. I, I don't quite know, Professor, whether that is a yes. I mean, it sounds okay. from everything that you've said, you've you've framed it. You have framed it in a way that makes me um, come to the conclusion that your answer leans towards a yes. That yes. younger and lower risk people should not be leaving their home until they've been vaccinated, um, for fear that there's going to be additional pressure on those areas of the NHS that are already under massive pressure. No, we need to follow the regulations and the and the, the suggested uh, social isolation policy by the government. Yes, and that means you know not leaving home unless there's a good, very good reason to do so. But until they've been vaccinated, I mean that could yeah, be okay. that could be months and months. <laughs> okay, so the the issue there is at what point can the 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 regulations be relaxed? And that's a difficult one because the first round of vaccinations, the first up until I mean the first four tiers, that will probably limit the mortality from people getting infected by about eighty percent. However, it doesn't stop people getting infected who are younger and they are ending up in hospital. So when I was on the ward last week, half my patients were below the age that would have received the vaccine in the sort of mm. the first few mm. weeks, those next couple of months. And that means that even if you can vaccinate people successfully down to the age of 70, there will still be a lot of people getting the infection and who will end up in hospital. Uh, beyond that point. And that will limit the ability of the government to release the social... But even with, even with 80%, as you say, if the, if the top four are, uh, tiers are inoculated, even 80% of the problem is being managed there. Mm -hmm. And yet still, there is a potential that the government might decide and the scientists might advocate for, based on what you were saying, that younger and lower risk people are kept at home or asked to stay at home until they've received the jab. Yeah, OK, so... When you say the problem is taken care of, 80% of the mortality is taken care of. That isn't 80% of the hospital use. No, sure. Okay. Well, 80% of the risk, that's, that's so, because we're, yeah. we're locking down to protect the NHS. So 80% of the risk I, is dealt with. At that point, there's going to be a really, really difficult moment, Professor, that at the point at which everybody is vaccinated in that top group by middle of February, people like me, mid-30s, relatively healthy, at lower risk of this, are going to start saying, can we have our lives back now, please? Yes, and I think that's incredibly difficult. I, I and the point you're saying about somebody quoted saying you you can't you have to stay at home until you you've been vaccinated. I, I think that isn't necessarily going to be tenable. Um, but what you're talking about is what are very complicated political and economic questions that need to be addressed at a, a critical point when a large proportion of the, of the at risk population have been vaccinated. And really, that isn't that is beyond the JCVI's remit because mm. it's much it's much more complex than uh, who should receive the vaccine